So often we get a question about why we want to put devices into Azure Active Directory. What are the benefits? And not only that, but what are the benefits or the difference in benefits between Azure joined, hybrid Azure joined, or just Azure registered? So that's what we're going to go over today in this quick video. So let's talk about Azure AD Join. This is what Microsoft would probably uh, say is their preferred state of a device. It's the future state. It's the cloud first state. Well, when a machine is Azure AD Joined, uh, its primary relationship is with the cloud. In fact, pretty much its only relationship is with the cloud. So we get a couple of benefits from that. Number one, the user can log on to the device directly with their Azure AD uh, identity, their, their uh, UPN. They type that in and type in their password, maybe MFA on top of that, but they're not using a, a, some kind of local account and then connecting it to the cloud. They're actually typing in to the logon screen their Azure AD ID. So that's one benefit right there. Another benefit when you Azure AD join a device uh, to the cloud like this is the administrators group, the local administrators group, gets actually a couple of uh, IDs added to it. One in both of them are for roles. One of the roles is the global administrators role. So anyone who is a global administrator in Azure Active Directory for your tenant will be an administrator on that device. Also, anyone who is a device administrator, this is another role in Azure Active Directory, they also are added to the local administrators group on these Azure AD joint devices, so they'll also be able to administer it. And when a, uh, when a user logs on, depending on how Azure uh, AD, or depending on how the device was joined to Azure AD, that user might be also an administrator on their device. They can also be a standard user. Normally, when they go through the normal walkthrough, which is either the out-of-box experience or a user uh, um, uh, uh, tells uh, their device that they want to join Azure AD, the user becomes an administrator on that device. But that's not always the case for other methods. There are some other methods that we talk about in other videos like autopilot, where a user doesn't necessarily have to become an administrator on the device. They could become just the standard user. In that case, the global administrator and device administrators would still be administrators on that device because it's still Azure AD joined. A couple of other advantages to Azure AD joining your device. One of them is kind of a fun thing that Windows 10 can do when you're, when you're Azure AD join. If the account you're logging in as happens to be an existing account also on-premise, and, and by that I mean you're using the same username and UPN, if that's the case, then even though the device is not joined to the on-premise domain, the uh, Azure AD can pull a little trick where it can actually go to the domain controller on-premise and get a Kerberos ticket for that user. So if their names are the same, their passwords will probably be the same because more than likely we are replicating or syncing these IDs from on-premise to the cloud. Even though the device is cloud only because it's Azure AD join, it can actually still get to resources on-premise. A nice little trick that Azure AD join machines can do most of the time. Well, let's talk about one of the other big ways to get a device into Azure Active Directory. And this is registering a device with Azure Active Directory. Again, we're mainly focusing on Windows 10 machines. So what does that mean? Uh, and what are the advantages to registering only? Just Azure AD registering a device. Well. Uh, not nearly as much stuff as you get with uh, the, the straight up Azure joined devices. Uh, first of all, someone is going to have to log on to the machine first and then uh, register the device through settings. Now, whoever's logging on to the machine, they'll always log on to that machine from the logon screen. They won't use their Azure credentials from the logon screen. So it's always a, a, a dual 
logon or a secondary logon that gets them connected to Exchange or, or SharePoint or Teams or, or whatever else. So the user is always going to log on either with a local account that's in the SAM database of the Windows 10 device or even a Microsoft account. This is a consumer uh, Microsoft account, even that. So they're always going to log on as that. It might even be a domain account if they're on a domain. So they log on uh, to the log on screen with that account. And then uh, they are secondarily connected to all their applications because of this other account that they added to the settings um, and which registered their device with Azure Active Directory. So that uh, registration does get them a little bit of single sign on in CAN so they don't have to keep on typing in their password username and password for every service that they go to exchange SharePoint teams or whatever. So there is a little bit of advantage in that, but they cannot get back to on-premise resources. That trick that Azure Active Directory devices do the, the actual join devices that doesn't work for registered devices. And of course, you can't log on as your actual Azure Active Directory ID directly to the device. Also, the global admins and device admins from your tenant, they're not added to the local administrators group on a registered device. So that doesn't happen. Okay, what about the third one, the hybrid Azure AD join device? Well, this is actually uh, the best of both worlds. The device is uh, already joined to an on-prem or on-premise Active Directory, so they enjoy all the benefits of being joined that way. Users can log on to them. They get access to all the stuff they have access to on-premise, file servers or whatever. And then they are also joined, Azure AD joined to the cloud. So they have all the benefits uh, of that type of join. And when they log on, when a user logs on, it actually will authenticate them to the on-premise domain and to Azure Active Directory, that same account. It'll just go and log them on to both places. Just like Azure AD join devices, you get the global administrators and device administrators also added to the local administrators group. And don't forget that since that device, this hybrid device, is also joined to an on-premise domain, then our domain admins group from the domain is also added to the local administrators group. So we have uh, kind of the best of both worlds. It's a machine that's joined on-premise and it's also a machine that's uh, Azure AD joined. So it's, it's pretty much both. It's not somewhere in the middle, it's, uh, it's actually both. So let's end with how do we tell if a device, a Windows device is actually Azure AD joined, hybrid Azure AD joined, or just Azure AD registered? Well, if we are an administrator or someone with read access to our tenant, our, our cloud tenant, we can just look at the list of Azure AD devices and we'll clearly see the one device is Azure AD registered, another one is Azure AD joined, another one is hybrid Azure AD joined, so we can easily see it there. It's also PowerShell equivalence of that. What about on the device itself? Well, there's a couple of places where we can tell. We can go into the settings tool and then into accounts and then access worker school and we can kind of see if it's connected to Azure Active Directory. But at first glance, unless you're really used to uh, how things look, you can't really tell if it's uh, connected, you know, Azure AD joined or registered or hybrid. There is sort of a subtle difference in there, but, the, but uh, it just it really looks the same. There is, however, a nice command line tool that you can use to get this information and some other information about the relationship between the Windows 10 device and the cloud. This uh, command is called uh, DSREGCMD, that's the command, then a space, and then a slash status. That will give you an output of quite a few things. In that output, towards the very top, it will have something that says uh, Azure AD join, then there'll be another one that says uh, a domain join, and then a little bit further down, there'll be something that says workplace join. Well, these are actually the Azure AD join, domain join, and, and Azure AD registered uh, uh, output. So if you see just Azure AD join saying yes, the other two say no, well, it's Azure AD join. If you see just the domain join saying yes, and the other two don't say anything, well, then it's just 
domain join. If you see workplace join saying yes and the other two don't say anything, then it's just register. But you could actually see Azure AD join yes and domain join set to yes. That's a hybrid machine. That's pretty much it. There's a bunch of other stuff in there, but we'll, uh, I'll show you a picture of what this looks like along with everything else. That is a quick way to tell if a device has been Azure AD joined, Azure AD registered, or hybrid Azure AD joined. You don't have to have any special administrative privileges to run that command, by the way. Just start a regular command prompt and type that command in, and it will tell you where you stand. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. A quick video on the, on, the, uh, on the benefits, some of the benefits, the main ones on Azure AD Join, Azure AD Registered, and Hybrid Azure AD Join, and a quick little snippet with a, a nice little command tool on how to tell if your Windows 10 device is joined and how it's joined. All right, remember to subscribe. We'll see you next week.